Hey, I'm Rick Rousseau. I've been the lead pastor at LifeBridge Church out in Colorado for 28 years and making this shift, this transition to uh, bringing some directional leadership here to Spire. And, and let me give you some of the vision, how that came about. You know, every time there's been a climate change on the face of the planet, every organism in that climate adapts or dies. And we're facing a big shift today. You know, and if we're not careful, we're gonna miss the turn that happens out there. A couple of years ago, I was with my granddaughters. We were sitting in Lake of the Ozarks, rural Missouri. I could barely get cell coverage. And one of my granddaughters, she was seven at the time, said, hey, Papa, I want to watch a movie. So she gets my iPad out. She's got my account. She downloads. And two minutes later, she's watching a Disney movie sitting in rural Missouri. And my granddaughter thought, you know, that's the way the world's always been. It's always been like this. There's a couple of you watching this that realize you only saw Wizard of Oz once a year when they showed it in October, if your parents didn't make you go to church on Sunday night. Otherwise, you missed the movie. Well, then we went to uh, VHS and Beta, and then it was Blockbuster, who rolled up all the mom and pop video stores around the country and made a national change. Then it's Redbox and Hulu and Netflix, and now who of us watches television the way we watched it for a long time? A couple years ago, Blockbuster filed bankruptcy, and four months later, they shut down all their retail outlets around the country. What happened? What business were they in? They were in the entertainment business, but they missed the turn. Do you know, you and I can go into any city and say, hey, there's a blue awning. That used to be Blockbuster. They missed the curve. You know, we can go in those same cities and I can look at some pubs or office suites or museums and we say, hey, that used to be a church. And if we're not careful, we're gonna miss the turn. And one of the keys around that is how leaders lead. And we're living in a time, I gotta be honest, I look at my son-in-law who's headed into ministry and I'm thinking, man, the world has changed. It's shifting, it's going fast, technology's bringing lots of opportunity but lots of challenges for us and how we do church and the way that presents itself to us. And so I have a real concern for how we don't miss this curve because there's danger, but always with danger is opportunity. And I think we're in a great season for the life of the church, but it always comes around the leader and their team and how they're connecting and collaborating and trying to sort out how do we do the best job we can to take the gospel that never changes uh, to a world that's never gonna be the same. And that's our challenge. And that's what Spire is about. You know, for a long time, business in the world, I was with some CEOs of some major companies and I was listening to them talk about stuff and I started putting my church hat on thinking, man, where's the application for me here? And, and they were talking about this. They said, for a long time, business was a pipeline. You produced the product, you shoved it down a pipeline, consumers bought it. And then about 35 years ago, portfolio companies became the primary offer for businesses, the ones that were gonna be disruptive or grow. And and that's the Walmarts of the world. You know, you could get grapes or gerbils at Walmart. And, and now the most disruptive uh, companies are platform companies. I'm gonna come back to the platform thing in a second, but as I put my church hat on, I thought about it this way. You know, for a long time, the church was a pipeline. We produced a product, we shoved it down. We said to people, come on Sunday morning and hear this sermon or come to our Bible study on Tuesday night. We produce content. We ask people to show up at a certain time and place to get it. And then 35 years ago, portfolio companies. Well, the truth is the birth of the mega church was about 35 years ago. And what did they do? They just figured out how they could offer grapes and gerbils to people to meet needs. And they grew and there's some real power in that. But there's a change, there's a shift. And it's around this platform idea. And platforms do two things. The first thing they do is they allow something to happen that already wants to happen. They're not creating something, they're facilitating something. And the second thing they do, and here's where the power comes, I think, for the life of the church and what we're hoping to help accelerate at Spire is this, that they turn consumers into contributors. If that's not what the church wants to do, I don't know what it is, right? We want to help people not just be consumers, we want to turn them into contributors. And so we were looking at what would we do if we could help leaders, leaders of churches, figure out a way to accelerate their ministry. 
And it doesn't matter whether we're a church of 50 or 5,000. Doesn't matter if we're young or old, urban or rural, if we're multi-site or single site, if we rent or we own our facilities. What matters is how are we engaging our community? How are we engaging our own people? How are we turning consumers into contributors? And so one of the things we wanted to do is create a platform. What if we created a 24-7, 365-day platform that allowed leaders to connect around three things? One, content. We all need to know the best idea, the best resources, the how do we resolve a problem, what's the best way to approach something. And it doesn't always fit in the same context, right? So I've got to put that in some ability to have content, but content alone is never enough for us. It takes connection. Uh, probably my best days, best ideas in ministry rarely happen because I woke up in the middle of the night with some brilliant thing. It always happened out of conversation. It happened around best practices of others. It happened around collaboration. And so how do we bring the best of collaboration to this platform? And then the third thing is we want to bring uh, the best of connection, right? So those connection, those ministries. So I'm going to connect with others around content and we're going to collaborate around ideas. Maybe it's because I care about spiritual formation or I'm a youth pastor or I'm looking at what's the best way for me to lead as the lead pastor in my place. And it's always about what a leader does in kind of three things. Me as a leader, What's helping me? What's helping me grow? What's helping me think? What's helping me be a better person, a better leader? But it's also about the team. And whether my team is paid or unpaid, whether my team are there with me 24 seven or they're here because they're working another job and they're helping me on the weekend, we all have a team. There's nothing that happens on the face of the planet outside a relationship. So how am I helping my team? And then how are we helping my church, the place where I'm serving, where I'm leading, my ministry, whatever that might be, and, and, and so what we're doing at Spire is focusing around those things. And this all kicks off, this platform kicks off. And it's gonna take time to build this out. It kick off at a conference we're doing uh, this fall. And it will give us this opportunity to launch this 24 seven, 365 day platform that helps us with content, with connection and with collaboration. And if we can do that, if we can do that, we get to accelerate the phenomenal things that are happening in our tribe because our churches are really healthy in a lot of places and there's some cool things happening. And our ideals, caring about biblical authority and Christian unity and a commitment to the Great Commission and the Lordship of Jesus, those things that our tribe has cared about for a long, long time, well, those things have never been more valued. And yet our identity has never been more at risk. And so not only am I gonna tell you about Spire and hope you'll show up at our first conference and join thousands of other young leaders together we lean into this future. But I'm gonna ask for you to help collaborate. We need the best of you to make this happen because that's what this platform is about. It's not about one person or five guys or seven churches that have some great thoughts or ideas. This is the best of us surfacing so that we don't miss the curve. See you in Orlando.